After a large human trafficking sting at six Topeka massage parlors, we now know the identity of three suspects in the case. This is an update to a story we first told you about on KSNT.com. Now KSNT News reporter James Ryan is live in West Topeka. So James, you were in court this morning. Where are the, the three suspects right now? Well, Mackenzie, I am live in front of Rainbow Massage, which actually appears to be open. They have open sides lit. When I got here, somebody actually left the building, locked it, and walked it down the street. Now, the three defendants that have appeared in this case, they are being held in Shawnee County Jail on a $100,000 bond. You're being held on allegations of promoting the sale of sexual relations. These are the three defendants in this case. They are all 43 years old and appeared in court with the help of an interpreter. They are being held on a variety of allegations related to prostitution. According to the Shawnee County District Attorney, the victims in this case are receiving services from YWCA. While she couldn't speak to the specifics of the case, CEO Kathleen Marker says it is different from what they typically see. Take a listen. Most of the folks that we serve uh, that are human trafficking victims are actually local and they are from our community. And so I think what you saw uh, here in the last uh, day was an exception to that. But most victims actually are coming out of our community. The YWCA opened a drop-in day center for victims of human trafficking back in 2020, serving three victims in its first month. Today, the center has grown, serving 37 victims in the past month. Now, if any of the defendants do make bail, they are not allowed to travel without the court's permission and are actually going to be asked to hand over their passports. They're also not allowed to contact each other or any of the victims in this case. They are expected to appear back in court on April 27th. Live in West Topeka, covering local news that matters, James Ryan, KSNT News.